Good morning and welcome to Photo Justice Photo Moment, the first live daily show on YouTube on photos and videos and things of that sort every weekday morning, 9.30 a.m. Pacific. This is really odd talking without anything in my ear. It's like suddenly I feel half naked here, but I'm good. We are broadcasting live from the Mevo today and we are doing this using the beta version of the app, which actually goes to YouTube. And I was super, super pleased to see that it actually does give you YouTube events. Quite often, these uh, an app that goes to YouTube, when they first build it, they being whoever's building these things, built an app that goes to YouTube, they just do YouTube Now, the Stream Now, Stream Live, whatever the heck it's called. You don't get to see your scheduled events. But the Mevo app, even in beta, does do events. So I'm stoked about that. It means I could create the event in advance. It also meant I could create a test event earlier this morning, which I did, and seemed to be working quite well. So let's hear, I have got, you know, so the only problem with this setup right now is that I don't have any way to show you what I'm doing here. What I'd love to see is an ability to switch to the camera on the iPhone to use that as a second phone, a second camera. Wouldn't that be cool if I could switch to this and like hold that up and go there? But of course I can do my whole switching, the whole switching thing, switch in tight on there. And let's see if I can, if I go down and do a pan down to the phone that I'm using on here, pan back up to my face on there. I just, I love it. I think this is such a neat, neat system. Do a slow, wide zoom out. Or maybe that's a little, let's see, let's do this. Let's do this again. I'm gonna go tight on there. I'm gonna hold down my fingers on there for a long time let go and let it do a slow push in. <laughs> All right, that's cool. You got to admit, that's pretty cool. So we're doing this outside today for a multitude of reasons. One of which being that, um, one of which being that, that, that I have to be outside to get good LTE. So I wanted to do this as simply as possible. And I was <laughs> getting photo just that was sick. It is sick, isn't this cool? I wonder if this is simply as possible, kind of the, the cheapest way to do this, right? This is a Mevo, no boost. So I'm just using the Mevo right now, which means that I've only got uh, about one hour of battery life. And which, you know, that's a pretty long stream as it is. And uh, I'm using the audio on a lav mic that, that, you, that I can show you. You can see that here, that is plugged in right there. So let's see here, let's do this, let's do this. And a, can I pinch it anymore? No, I guess I'm zoomed in all the way there. Already zoomed in all the way. So that's that mic and the phone and that's it, right? Nothing else, no LTE, external LTE connection. I'm just using the, uh, just using the LTE in my phone and no fancy microphone setup other than this Rode wireless lav, which is directly plugged into my phone via the little uh, Apple adapter, which I gotta recommend you buy a bunch of these if you're gonna do this because you know this way you get, uh, you have a few, they're 10 bucks each. So just go grab a bunch of them, stick them in your bags. Just, it's helpful. And I am seeing your guys' chats come up. Now what's interesting though, is that they pop up once and then disappear. I'm not seeing a running tally. So I am right now going to try and figure out, how, oops, don't do that. How to figure out how to um, see your chats. Cause I want to see what you guys are saying. Let's go to the wide shot there. <laughs> I love it. I just, I love this setup. I think it's so cool. Um, hmm. Wow, that zoom legit, look legit too. Let's see, if I go vertical, do I get any more? Nope. If I tap on a chat that comes in, Sully, I just saw yours. Wow, that zoom look legit. I don't see a way. <laughs> can we keep you talking for over an hour to see if we can flatten the battery? You know that's possible. You know that, right? Uh, let's see. Darn, I really wish there was a way so I could get to see the chat completely. You think there's got to be a way? I'm looking, I'm just looking through the settings in here. Nice things about support. I'm not seeing anything. So this is something I'll have to bring up with them. Keep in mind, the software is in beta. All right, well, let's just talk about what else I was playing with this morning with this thing. So um, I talked to the Mevo folks, the live stream folks, and got a, let me, let me do this here. We've got to get out of that. And try turning the phone into portrait mode. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. See, when I go into portrait mode, let's, here, let's do a zoom in here. Let's just zoom in there. <laughs> See, portrait mode, just goes sideways. We don't actually, it doesn't change the layout at all, unfortunately. Try that. I guess you probably couldn't even see that screen. Uh, people are saying odd artifacts at the bottom. Okay, that's interesting. Let me know what you mean by that. Are you seeing it now that I'm zoomed in, the odd artifacts, or is it only showing up when I'm at a wide shot? So I just switched over to the wide shot. And uh, Ryan, do you take a couple of screenshots for me in there. I just want to see, you know, what you're saying. And uh, anyway, so I was saying that I got a, I got some confirmation from the, uh, let's zoom back in there, a little bit wider. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I'm having fun with the zooming thing. Uh, I got some confirmation from the live stream folks about whether you could use a uh, both a external mic via USB and a USB modem simultaneously. And they said they haven't tested it, but in theory it should work. And if I were just a regular customer, they would say, this is not a supported configuration. But I think it'll work, and here's why. One of the things that I ran into that I thought was a little bit odd, and we'll see if this gets updated. Um, when I plugged in my USB modem, I, I, first I was gonna try the hub thing, and I thought, wait a minute, I haven't even tried just using the USB modem. And that's my little USB stick, you know, the one that saved my ass in NAB with the live stream, uh, with the, uh, the uh, uh, whatever the other device is called. Um, I, I plugged that in, and I, it took me a while to figure out how to get it connected, and when I realized what was happening, was unlike plugging that into my VDU, that's the word I was looking for, unlike plugging that USB modem into my VDU, I was, which got the data directly via USB, basically all the boost was doing was giving the USB modem power so it could create a hotspot, which then the Mevo was connecting to over Wi-Fi. So with that little USB modem, you can plug it into your laptop or you know, whatever device you plug it into. I guess, frankly, you don't even have to plug it into a computer. You can just plug it into a USB port sticking out of your hotel wall and connect multiple devices via Wi-Fi to that little USB stick. That is basically what the Mevo was doing, which surprised me because the kind of, in my mind, the point of using an external device like this instead of using your phone is that you should get a better, cleaner, signal because there's no Wi-Fi in between the data path and the device. So we'll see if that's something that can get updated because that didn't throw me. But the, the good news about that is that it should mean that you should be able to connect multiple devices over USB using the Boost and a USB hub. So I could take a high-end high audio feed, whether that's off of a mixer or just a mic that's got a USB out or whatever it is, plug that into a hub along with the little USB stick modem. So, I don't know, different options. We'll, we'll, we'll play with them some more. Uh, I was thinking about trying to do all that setup for today, but, uh, but I decided that uh, I, I would just go the simple route. Let's see how effective this is on its simplest form possible. Hey, Ryan, do me a favor. Bring me the iPad uh, so that I can view the chats because I can't see the chats on here, they go and they come and they go and I'm missing all the conversations. In the meantime, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour so show you where we are. This is outside of my studio so you can see the excitement of where where we are. I've got this thing hooked up to my little Mevo tripod, uh, a Mi Photo tripod. And here, let me do a quick little slow pan around here. This is not a video head, I'm just panning this thing. So you can see that I work in a very glorious, very glorious uh, warehouse district. There's Ryan coming in, thank you, sir. You even brought me headphones. Look at you. I don't know why. I don't know why either. <laughs> Everybody, chase Ryan back. There goes Ryan. Running back. So that, that's where I work. That's my studio over there. Uh, and behind me, let's see here, behind there is this chocolate company called uh, called uh, uh, Dagoba Chocolates. Sorry, I total space brain there. Dagoba Chocolates. Really, really yummy organic chocolates. And this massive warehouse that I'm standing next to right now is entirely storage for their chocolate. So if you ever get a chocolate craving, you come here, you sneak in there in the middle. Of the no, you can't do that. All right, so let me see here. I'm going to, I wonder if I can lock this. I'm hoping I can lock my phone and not screw things up. I sure hope. Well, there is an enormous lesson, an enormous lesson to learn. <laughs> do not lock your phone. Don't do that. <laughs> the last thing I said, can I lock my phone or not screw things up? Um, excellent. Let's mute this. <laughs> and I'm back. Look at that. So, yeah, uh, don't do that. <laughs> do not lock your phone. Uh, I'm, I'm not totally thrilled with that. I think I will talk to the Mevo folks about that. I think that could be better done. Uh, let's see here. Now I'm trying to compose different shots here. So now, I'm, now I've got my iPad. Now I can look at the live chat, at least in theory. Where's the live chat? Oh, there it is, live chat. Oh, look at all this. Let's see here. What's going on here? All right. Good morning, everybody. My goodness, look at all this. Bart Johnson, hello. Jess, hello. Good morning, Jess. Bart, good, Jess, thanks for coming in yesterday for the, the uh, Patreon chat. That was super fun. You should tell everybody how awesome it was. We spent an hour together. There was you, me, and Frank spending an hour in there together just chit-chatting about uh, asset management software, digital asset management software, talking about video shooting, talking about some little editing tips, and just, just a bunch of 
general photo and video conversation stuff. And it was nice because it's just a few of us. We had a nice long hour plus chat. It was super cool. All right, Bart saying, how's it going this morning? Got it before it started. Oh, first, I saw someone flew by earlier that said that they didn't see the event until they came to the desktop. That was me, that was my fault. I didn't create the event until 10 minutes before because I was screwing around with testing it and I wasn't sure what I was gonna do until the last minute. So that's why there was no event created until just minutes before we went live. So that's why you didn't see it. So uh, you can blame me on that one, not on YouTube. Bart says, oh, that's what Bart was saying right there. You couldn't find the YouTube event. Uh, let's see here. Um, Ryan's saying, one thing I'm noticing is that the Pub the preview and the public view are much better in sync than they normally are. That's certainly odd. So when we're when we're doing this through YouTube, I am uh, I set this up. I wonder how would I change this. So normally when I do an event, and I've kind of walked you through this step before, we create the event in YouTube, and when I stream, when I start streaming, the event doesn't go live immediately, right? It uh, it waits for you to say go live on the on a browser, which you can actually do from a phone. And, see, I can't screw with it now, so I, I don't want to change anything on here. But I didn't notice, although it's got to be in there, and I will have to check if there is a go live immediately setting on the phone, because you do need that. If you're out on your own, even if you create an event, you don't want to hit go live and then have to wait, or have to have somebody else uh, around, like I have Ryan there, to make the event go live. It has to be there. That's a total basic thing. It's got to be there. But anyway, in that, you get two windows. What Ryan is looking at is two windows, the preview window, which he can see what I'm streaming to, and then the live window when he says go live. And what he was saying is that the, the sync between what's live and the preview window is much closer than what we're normally doing. But that all said, I know that this is a, still a significant delay. So it's just, I don't know who knows, something on the back end. Uh, all right, APN TV, good morning. Can we keep you talking for an over an hour? We saw that one. Uh, let's see here. Um, I don't know what uh, what was happening with the, the crunchy stuff on the bottom, so we'll take a look at that later. Uh, you guys tell me I don't care about my iPhone. I love my iPhone. I would not want to die to break my iPhone. That'd be very sad. But of course, I'm going to hold it over a concrete sidewalk. Don't you guys hold your iPhones over concrete sidewalks and everywhere else you go? I mean, this is like the best device that I own. Are you kidding me? I love my iPhone. Bart saying you destroyed far too many iPhones. Uh, let's see here. Martin got back in time to see him. I mean, Ryan got back in time to see himself running into the room. That's funny. So there's a little delay. Nice office pad. Thank you. I like my office setup. Scorgasm says, watching stream on my 4K TV and picture seems pretty good. Outside of it cutting off just now, lol. What resolution is it streaming at? Very good question. It's set to go full HD, which for somebody who is not on a TV, somebody's on a web browser, tell me if you're getting full 1080p. And it's giving me stats. It says I've got 3.6 megabit, 4.4 megabit. It's fluctuating, which is enough for full HD. I, where I am here, I don't get great LTE signal here at my studio. And this is why I'm outside because I get crappy in the studio. Of course, it's a big metal warehouse building. So no surprising, uh, no surprise there. Trevor saying it looks better than 1080p. That's interesting. So cool. And I am on the LTE. I'm not using my Wi-Fi. That's for sure. Yes, like I've only got, I've got three bars of LTE on the iPad here. Um, all right, let's see what else is going on here in the comments. It's hard to see the screen with the sunglasses on. It's people saying brilliant image quality. That's really cool. Audio's a little hot when I tilt my head down. That makes sense because it's down there. So I could, let's lower the mic a little bit and then I'll make a little bit better when I tilt down. And uh, you can let me know if it's still, uh, if it's still too hot. I do have control over the audio levels, which is super, super cool. Just says it was pretty awesome talking about yesterday's event. Thanks for all the advice. You're quite welcome. Look forward to the next one. I worked on some things we discussed. Even got my daughter to practice guitar outside last night. Awesome. Jess, Jess's daughter is going to be performing in an outdoor concert coming up here, and she's going to be shooting this on her GH5. And we had a lot of uh, a lot of discussion about how she could get the most out of that, which is crazy cool. Josh is getting 1080p. Excellent. Sean Mark Nipper. Good morning, Sean. Sorry I didn't involve you in this test. It was a very last minute decision. Is uh, is also getting 1080p. Good. Good. Bryce says, get a pro clip. I don't know what a pro clip is. Tell me what a pro clip is, Bryce Peterson. Everybody's confirming 1080. Uh, image quality actually looks better than usual, to be honest. That's kind of crazy. People saying they can't get over how good the quality of the stream looks. Definitely considering Amiibo sick of using my MacBook camera. Oh, yeah, MacBook cameras are crap. You think, you know, thousands of dollars for a laptop, you think you'd get a camera in there that didn't suck. Well, this is cool. This is very cool. Well, I'm glad this is working. I can put my sunglasses back on so I can actually see out here. It's so bright. Excellent. Well, that's awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's kind of it. I just wanted to test this thing for real. Again, using the most basic setup. There's no 
Uh, no extra hardware here, it's just the Mevo. It is on a tripod, but it doesn't have to be, right? I could just set it on on the, the ledge here or something. I could even hand hold it, right? I mean, let's, here, let's try. I know this thing doesn't have any stabilization, but here, I'm just gonna take it off of the quick release head here. Oops, there we go. And you guys can tell me how awful this is. If I'm doing this, how, how bad, this actually be good for the movement. Let's see what the compression is like as I move this around. You can tell me if this is extremely painful and bad or if this is kind of okay, what that is like. But um, this would allow me to do, a, let's do a little walk and talk. Let's see what happens if I'm doing a little walk and talk here, how awful it is. Now what I need here is a boosted board so I can go all Casey and I sat on you and like scroll through traffic. No, we're not doing that. I'm not insane. I guess too old for that crap. I don't know what he's doing. Um, but yeah, I wanna, I'm anxious to hear if there's any kind of stabilization. I mean, there could be software stabilization, right? Because it is a 4K image with a small punch in, but I would imagine not. I mean, that, that would be very, very odd. Okay, enough walking back and forth. My neighbor's looking at the window like, what the hell is Joseph up to today? All right, let me just put this thing back onto my tripod. See, this is it. Just got a little tripod set up there. Nothing special there. Let's get that back on place. And level that guy out. Let's see how that looks. And, all right, let's see what people are saying about that. Oh, I should have punched in tighter. You know what, we'll do it again. I'll punch in even tighter. We'll see if there's any stabilization. All right, let's see what people are saying. It was quality looking good. Now you feel sick, John Morby. Yeah, sorry, I guess that was a little, hoo -hoo. too much movement, not bad at all. Some are saying not bad, some are saying too much movement. Oh, I can see it now here, because obviously this is delayed. I'm guessing there's no stabilization. But there could be, couldn't there? I'll have to talk to them about that. There really could be. Compresses a bit, acceptable, not horrid for no stabilization. Okay. All right. Well, very interesting. I'm digging it. This is fun. All right, guys. Well, I hope you had fun there. Ooh. Hope you had fun. I had fun. This is cool. I'd still love this thing. Let's do, let's do a closing. Go in nice and tight here. Go in nice and tight. There we go. Go for that closing punch and then we're going to go a, a nice big pull out. I'm going to hold down my fingers on that screen for several seconds so that when I do let go, we're going to end up this shot with a very nice slow pull out that'll be our closing closing glory there. I will uh, I will now vacate the premises and give Ryan 20 seconds so he can run the end credit things. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>